I want a chewy, please. Let me smash. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're all as pumped as myself for the brand new Rocket League update, which will be coming out soon, depending on your region, and I'm going to talk about that later on. But we're going to be receiving a brand new map, a brand new crate called the Nitro Crate, and lots of new items. So in this video, we're going to tell you everything that you need to know. But before we get into that, ladies and gentlemen, welcome yourselves back to Twiz Gamers. It is your boy Did -did 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 DJ Lord inside the place and yeah if you could subscribe and like I will send you your very own Barbie that's right it's a gangster Barbie doll <laughs> So to start off with this new update, I thought we'd talk about the brand new crate, and it's called the Nitro Crate. It's supposed to be even more rare than the current crate, the Turbo Crate. So this brand new crate is going to contain four new wheels, two new trails, one new car, and of course, as always, a mystery decal. So firstly, we're going to take a look at the brand new wheels. So looking on the far left, we see the new ice wheels and they're kind of going for a theme here with the two ice and the fire causing opposites and I think it looks pretty awesome. I'm expecting the ice and the fire ones to move and I'm expecting them to be the exotic wheels. I'm actually a huge fan of the dragon design, I'm definitely going to be trying to get those. They are so awesome and I can't wait to see what they actually look like in game. But there's also a rumour because it's the first time we've ever seen a change in the actual tyre itself. I mean, we actually got to see some different tires before, but now we could actually see different treads or a tread trail that could be left if the uh, car's driving. So it'll be interesting to see if they took that approach with the fire and the ice. I really hope they have. It'll be a cool, unique feature. Now, looking at the wheel on the top, we actually see it in the picture with the, uh, the brand new car, which I'm going to talk about in a little bit. But the actual inside of the wheel itself glows up, so I have a huge feeling that that is going to be the import wheel this time. And the wheel on the right is going to be just a very rare wheel. It still looks cool, but I don't know, it's nothing special, nothing's popping out at me, so I kind of have that vibe for it. But yeah, let me know what you think of the wheels down below. Now next up we have the two trails and they kind of look like particle effects. So um, I can see them both looking like fireworks if you ask me. They kind of look like the effects you would see on two different complete types of fireworks. So yeah, I think that's it really. We're going to have to see what the trails actually look like in game. But we do actually see a preview on the new car itself which we're going to talk about now. As you can see here, this is the brand new car that's going to be coming in the Nitro Crate, and it's called the Mantis. Now, you can see that it's using the wheels, uh, the import ones that I suggested uh, on the little chart, and you can also see the trail that it's using is one of the new trails. Now, I think this looks so cool. I'm going to start with the actual car itself. It reminds me of, like, the Batmobile when it came out. It had that long, flat body. It made amazing turns in the air and it was overall just a really good battle car so this reminds me of that as it's got its flat body has a cool slick design it kind of looks like Tron a little bit but it's, it does look really good it looks really really cool and I can't wait to see how it plays out in the actual game I know it's fully customizable because that's not an issue we can see all the new wheels on it and we can see the new trail as I was saying but as I said before you can see inside the wheel itself it actually glows up so this was the one I suggested to be the import wheels and looks pretty cool I think it does look pretty good if you could get different colors maybe a red on those I'd be super impressed and I would definitely be trading up to get those Moving on to the next part of the update, and I've actually got another part after this. But this is the Tokyo map. You remember Neo Tokyo? Yes, the one that every single person hated. No one enjoyed that map. Not that I know of. No one demanded that we play on that map. They, they weren't big fans. However, I loved the design and the buildings in the background. The actual theme of it was cool. And the Japanese announcer who would always say... 
But yeah, they've actually changed the old map to um, Neo Underpass for the, the ones with the ramps on the side. And this map is essentially that map without the ramps, which is incredible. I'm so glad that they've done this. I really am. Because this map is going to be one of my new favourites, I reckon. Still got that dome engagement, which is great. And yeah, I'm just looking forward to it. It's not too much that has changed besides the fact that it hasn't got the dip. But yeah... They did, however, change the name of the old map to Neo Underpass, and the reason they've done that, uh, it's not going to show up on uh, ranked games anymore, only on private matches. So it could mean potentially that we could see it in the future actually come on to our competitive matches, which would actually be pretty awesome. Now, that is pretty much all that's going to be coming with this new update. However, there will be a new redeem feature, okay? So remember a little while ago, I made a video about the Rocket League cars. So you, they're actually toy cars, and you pull them back on a table or the floor, and it goes racing, and it's all of the old classic Supersonic Acrobatic Rocket Power Battle Cars, um, cars, battle cars, so... Um, when you buy uh, the toy figures, you actually get codes in the uh, figurines. So you'll be able to enter them into Rocket League and then you'll get loads of items. I thought that was actually a really cool thing for them to do. They've done that correct. So I can't complain about that. That is fantastic. But ladies and gentlemen, as always, I would love to know your opinions on this new update. I think it's really cool. I'm glad they're still adding and updating and maintaining everything. I mean, that is the key feature for me. But I want to know all of your thoughts. Get a conversation going down in the comment section or down below. And don't forget to subscribe and like to myself. I'd appreciate you ever so much and much love. Okay, everyone, have a fantastic day. It has been your boy, D -d 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 DJ Lordy, inside the place. Peace out. Have a good one.